Hey, what's up? Welcome to Threadheads. So last week, Tuffleupagus, Azerbit, and Nicole Spy 76 remarked that they liked the hat I was wearing. So this week, we're going to go over and meet the designer behind them all, Humble Bumblebee. Hi, I'm Brenda, and my company is Humble Bumblebee. Last week, you guys left a lot of comments about the hat Corinne was wearing, so this week, we're going to show you how to make one. Your first step is making your pattern. You're going to measure 10 and a half inches and put a mark here. Next thing you're going to do is measure two and a half inches. Your other side, you're going to measure three inches. You're going to connect your lines with a straight edge. The next step is to do the top of the hat. Again, on the other straight end, seven inches. And I'm also going to put a mark at three and a half, which is the center point. Now that I have those two marks, I'm going to take my ruler and measure out three inches. I'm just going to kind of freehand this to connect it. So I'm going to take my line from that mark and just bring it right into the corner. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Next step, I'm going to cut out my pattern. You have your piece, your 22 inch by 12 inch piece. And you're just going to fold it in half. When you put your pattern pieces on here, you want your three inch side on your fold. Right on the fold and pin it down. Now you're going to take the top part of the crown and pin the long side, the seven inch side, right on your fold. Your next step is cutting out your pattern. Now we have our pieces and we're off to our sewing machine. Take your long piece and we're going to stitch it together at the open end. You're going to use a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Otherwise, our top part won't fit on here properly. Now that we have that stitched together, we're going to open it up and stitch this part down flat. This is the inside. And this is the outside. So you have a nice detail going down each side of your seam. Now it's time to attach the top to the brim. And if you look at your piece, you can tell one side's going to be a little longer than the other. And line that up with my seam that I just made. Pin this all the way around. Now I'm going to stitch this on. What you want to do next is cut little triangles all in here. This makes it so when we flip it inside out, everything lays flat. So you'll turn this inside out, and we're going to use the same technique we did on this seam. On the inside seam here, we're gonna put a stitch down each side of those seams. As you go around, you're just gonna open these up and lay them nice and flat so as your needle comes across them, it'll catch each little piece. Okay, I've gone around a second time on the other side of the seam. So I'm all done stitching that part. So you can see what I've done. I've opened up those. You can see my triangles that I've cut out. And I've just stitched them on each side of that seam so they lay flat. And then when we look at the outside, it has this great little detail on each side of the seam. Okay, your next step, and you can use pretty much anything for this. You can use lace. Um, another type of felt or fabric. I love bias tape. The bias tape is going to help keep the shape of the rim of your hat so it doesn't stretch out. And it'll give it a nice finished edge. And we're going to sew that on. And now we have a nice clean seam. Everything's folded under. Nothing's going to fray. The last step we have to do before we decorate is put a little zigzag stitch on each side of our hat and punch a little hole for the bobby pins to fit in so they'll stay on nice and secure. This keeps your hat on your head. They're a little tough to keep on without the bobby pins. And we are ready to decorate. Okay, so I've tacked this down about four times. Now I'm gonna take my button. And we are all done. We've got our hat, we've got our feather, we've got our button and we are all ready for a cocktail party. So thanks for watching, I hope you learned a lot. Uh, visit me at humblebumblebee.com. They're great holiday gifts. If you can't make one yourself, get one from me. Bye, thanks. After our defeat on Alderaan, we decided we had to rethink our strategies. Fossil fuels are out and green is out. in. Yes. 
the Death Star is now completely powered by solar winds, and we recycle 40% of all Ewoks we kill. Hey, welcome back to the show. We got a bunch of uh, questions and comments here that we're going to answer. Artie, Art, Miss Fair. Uh, I'm going to miss Halloween Wednesdays. So are we. But uh, obviously we saw there was such a uh, outcry for costumes that we're going to be doing some more shows throughout the year. Showing you how to make cool costumes. Costume um, specials. Costume madness. Um, and if you're wondering what to do with your Wednesdays from now on, in a couple more weeks we're going to have a DIY winter... Winter wear. Winter wear. Um, Walking with my winter wonderland wear. Something like that. In the land, so it's Christmas. Our next question comes from Allie. Allie wrote, your shows where you show us how to make things instead of touring places like craft fairs are much more interesting. Well, then you're really going to love it when we go to Stitch next week, a craft fair in Austin. Don't worry, we're going to show you how to make something too. Alright, so then we got uh, Sunny and she wrote, is there a site that has a bunch of printable templates or patterns to make different things? Up. That's right, if you're on threadbanger.com, just click on the banner above uh, birdastyle.com. They have tons of open source sewing patterns and tons they're of They're free. They're, they are free. I don't want to pay for patterns. And uh, in other news, we found the winners of our DIY disaster book contest, where winners win the Subversive Seamster and So Subversive. The best video by far totally came from K-Pup, who definitely deserves these set of books. I cannot make fashion recons to save my life. I'm embarrassed to even show this to you. I just cut this too short, and the neckband was wrong. I don't, I don't know what I did. This is like, the head doesn't even match up in the front. There's this huge gap. Um, it's shapeless, and it's just really, really bad. I could never wear this in public. K-Pup, stay strong. These books are going out to you today. Um, I think that's it. I think we're out of here. If you got any videos, or if you want to just leave like a comment, comments, down very below. exciting. We love those things. Comments. Till next week, Austin, Sitch, Craft Fair. Peace, Peace. out.